Hi. What we're going to do is we're going to establish a calibration Now, for a leak checker. Now, we all know how long an inch is. We've established that an inch is a certain dimension. And that's how you calibrate your micrometers. Well, we calibrate leak checkers as well. What we have here is one of our leak checkers. Now, as you can see, it's not hooked up. So what we do, and you can adjust it with that regulator. Now, put that on there like that. Put the little, put the air pressure on there, and we can adjust the adjust the zero. Now you notice it seems like there's almost a mechanical connection between the gauge and the dial. See, look at this. As you as you turn it, it moves. If you can turn this and that doesn't move, then that's called a dead band. Okay. As you can see, there's no dead band in this situation. So we put this on zero, and we have, <coughs> this has been calibrated to the standard of 80 at 80. And what that means is, if you put an 80 thou jet in here and let the air out, it'll leak 80%. Where's my standard? There it is. Hang on a second. Now we put this little jet in here. Okay. It's leaking 80%. Air compression is going to kick on in a second, and it'll be noisy as hell. But what that means is, is whenever you're talking to somebody, whether they're on this side of the planet or some racetrack on the other side of town, it doesn't matter. If you agree that your leak checker calibrates to 80 at 80, what that means is, is both gauges are reading the same. So whenever he says he's got 56% leak, well, then you know that you have a 50%, 56% leak as well. So in other words, if your gauges agree, then that means you have the same number that you're dealing with. Doesn't that make sense? Thanks.